I never thought I'd say this, but you wore me out. No, I'm serious. I'm actually tired. Oh, don't get me wrong. I loved every minute of it, and I can't wait to do it again, but apparently I need to up my game. Well, maybe I should get a home gym or start jogging every morning or something. Yeah, I'm joking about that part, but not about being exhausted. I'm getting older? Ooh, you're funny. Do I need to point out that the tribunal is going to start referring to you as the ancient one from now on? Yeah, I know. To them, nothing has changed. They'll still see and hear the same person as always and they'll have no idea that they're talking to you now. Is there something I can do to help shield you from all the stuff spinning around in your head? I hate feeling powerless to help. I need to do something. Something to guard you against this shit. If you remember, being without my powers makes me a little crazy. And right now, I have no idea how to help. Arden. Stop trying to calm my mind. Yes, you are. I know your touch, and I can feel you in my head trying to settle things down. You're the one who needs stress relief, not me. Yeah, sure, I'm a little tense, but I didn't just have the weight of the world dumped on me like you did. Well, I'm glad helping me makes you feel better, but it's you I'm worried about. I know you're trying to get a handle on your new powers, which is why I A. Asked if there's anything I can do to help, and B. I'm trying really hard to keep my thoughts from going too dark, since I know you can read them now, and that would only add to your stress level. <laughs> no, baby. You're welcome in my head whenever you want. I'm not keeping any secrets. Well, despite all your best efforts, my temper can still be brought on a little too easily. I don't let it run my life or make stupid, impulsive decisions like I used to, but I'm still a work in progress. I know, baby, I'm working on it. But in the meantime, if you go rooting around in there right now, you're going to find some less than angelic thoughts concerning the previous Ancient One and you don't need that with your radar cranked up to 11 on a scale of 1 to 10. You think more of this afternoon is what we need? Are you sure? Well, not that I'm unwilling to try, but if we get busy every time your new powers try to overwhelm you, 
we might end up spending the foreseeable future in bed. Or on the kitchen table. Or on the couch. Or on every flat surface in the house. Oh, I know. So many possibilities. But we might end up a little sore. I'm not complaining. I'm just doing a little service announcement. Caution. Studies have shown that spending days on end fucking like bunnies can result in soreness and fatigue. <gasps> Did you hear that? I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Hey, look. You smiled. Well, I must be doing something right. Well, I appreciate you saying that, baby, but, but what I want most is to help you. You'd rather kiss than talk? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but here goes. I think we do need to talk. I think you're using sex as a way of avoiding the inevitable. Yeah. The inevitable. Dealing with the shit show that's been dumped in your lap by that inconsiderate prick of an ancient one. I'll make you a promise. You talk to me about how you're feeling. Did I just say that? And then we'll fuck until the sun comes up. I love to hear you laugh, even if it is at me. Okay, that's good. What about all this has you so frustrated? Yeah, I get that. When I've been forced to do something, I've been... Oh, I don't know, I think frustrated is too mild of a word, but well, I understand where you're coming from. I think you could have refused, though. He didn't threaten you. Well, not that I heard, anyway. Well, yes. You could have refused, but you didn't. So let's talk about why you accepted. He isn't the only one that thinks you're the best for the job. As your mate, I don't like it. I wish the responsibility wasn't on your shoulders, but honestly, I can't think of anyone better. Can you? You have to see that you're something special. Truly. So is it frustration? Or is it a sense of feeling overwhelmed? Maybe a touch of fear? I get that. It'd freak me the fuck out, too. But I go back to my previous question. Do you know anyone better suited than you? Yeah, me neither. So you do your best, and that's all you can do. There isn't anyone who could do it better. And if I understand the way this messed up system works, 
once someone is born or grows up enough to do as good a job as you can do, you'll know and you can turn it over to them. Well, until that time, you are the best of the best. Just do your thing and have faith in yourself. I know it's daunting, but you can do this. I'm not a guy who has faith in much, but I have complete faith in you. You've got this. What else are you feeling about all this? Angry. Hmph. I hadn't expected that. I thought I'd cornered the market on angry. For me? Why? This isn't about me. I'm not the one who has to deal with every whiny pain in the ass that wants to have the ancient ones solve all their problems for them. Babe, it isn't what either of us wanted. But it doesn't matter. We're in this together. What? I can't believe you had any doubt. You're in my mind. You know you're my choice. Always. Well, you've accepted all of my shit. Trust me, baby. This is nothing compared to my fucked up past. Babe, come on. My world is you. Just you. <laughs> I have never been flexible in my life, and I'm not really being flexible now. I say you're my world, but I don't think you get it. My plans haven't changed. This doesn't alter what's important to me. Babe, I'm saying that because last week my job was to support and protect you. Today, my job is to support and protect you. Tomorrow, my job will be to support and protect you. Whatever you need, I'm your guy. <laughs> 